let's solve for the value of x first let's transfer this um minus 65 to the other side of the equation so we have 3 to the power of x minus 2 to the power of x is equal to 65 okay um let's raise each of this this and this to the power of 2 over 2 okay there's a reason for that because i want to form difference of two squares from there okay minus 2 to the power of x raised to the power of 2 over 2 is equal to 65 so like i said i want to form difference of two squares from here all right um recall the law of indices that a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m times n so that simply means that I can rewrite this as a to the power of n multiplied by a to the power of m without changing what the result I will get, right? So that is why in this case, I'm going to bring in 1, 2 inside and take x outside so that I will form the difference of two space that I was talking about. So I can now write 3 to the power of x over 2 raised to the power of 2, okay? minus 2 to the power of x over 2 raised to the power of 2 is equal to 65. Confirm. So this is what I've been looking for, difference of two squares. And um, the algebra identity for difference of two squares is that a squared minus b squared is equal to a minus b multiplied by a plus b okay or a plus b multiplied by a minus b both are the same now in this case our a in this our case our a is equal to 3 to the power of x over 2 and our b is equal to 2 to the power of x over 2 all right so let's go ahead and substitute them into this particular equation so if we say a squared minus b squared okay is equal to a minus b multiplied by a plus b all right so let our a be this and our b be that, that so we are going to write that a minus b multiplied by a plus b is equal to 65 okay all right but 65 um can be written as 5 times 13 right Yes, because 5 times 13 will give you 65. So let's go ahead and use it here. So we have that a minus b multiplied by a plus b is equal to what? 5 times 13. Now, when you look at this, a minus b must be lower than or lesser than a plus b. That means a minus b should be equated to the smaller number and a plus b will be equated to the larger number. So you say a minus b is equal to 5, then a plus b is equal to 13. If this is the first time you're coming across this channel, please hit the subscription button and on your notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video. Alright, so from here, we can say that this is our equation 1. Okay, let me not write it this way. So a minus b is equal to 5 because we are going to solve this simultaneously. So a minus b is equal to 5. Let's call this equation 1. And a plus b is equal to 13. Let's call this equation 2. Now let's solve this um, simultaneously. So if we add, we are going to have a plus a will give us 2a. Okay. Minus b plus plus b is 0. So we don't have anything here is equal to 5 plus 13 is what? 18. So to get the value of a, recall we are not looking for a, right? We are looking for x. So I would like you to watch to the end to see the solution. And we are also going to put the solution back, substitute the solution back to the question to see if you are going to get the right solution, the right answer. So we have 2a is equal to 18. So let's divide this by 2 and this by 2. When we do that, we have a is equal to when 2 divides 18 we have 9 so a is equal to 9 all right now let's substitute a equal to 9 into any of these equations to get the value of b <coughs> excuse me so let's substitute let's substitute a equals 9 into equation 1 okay 
so if we do that we will have that 9 minus b is equal to 5 so minus b is equal to 5 plus 9 will cross to become minus 9 okay so minus b is equal to 5 minus 9 will give us minus 4 divided by minus 1 divided by minus 1 minus will cancel minus so we are left with b is equal to 4 all right now let's solve for the value of x let's solve for the value of x recall recall that our a is equal to 3 to the power of x over 2 okay a is equal to 3 to the power of x over 2 so a is equal to 3 raised to the power of x over 2 so recall that our a is 9 so we can write that 9 is equal to 3 to the power of x over 2 now when you are solving any question on that indices or exponential all you need to do is make sure you put your numbers in the same base if possible now in this case it is possible to put both of them in the same base this in base 3 let's put this in base 3 so 9 is same thing as 3 to the power of 2 is equal to 3 to the power of x over 2 now we have the same base that means we can do what equate the powers right so let's do that so that means that 2 is equal to x over 2 now let's do our cross multiplication so if we do cross multiplication x times 1 will give us x is equal to 2 times 2 will give us 4 all right so this is the value of x if we use a equals 9 now let's see what we are going to get when we use b remember that our b is different b equals 2 whole number 2 to the power of x over 2 so permit me to clean this place so our b is equal to 2 to the power of x over 2 okay let me also clean here we have gotten the value of our first x all right so we have that b is equal to 2 to the power of x over 2 now we got b to be equal to 4 right so we can write that 4 is equal to 2 to the power of x over 2 so um this 4 can be written as 2 to the power of let me remove over 1 can be written as 2 to the power of 2 just like we did here let's put them in the same base is equal to 2 to the power of x over 2 so they have the same base now therefore we can equate the power so we can write that 2 is equal to x over 2 now let's cross multiply x times 1 will give us x 2 times 2 will give us 4 so this implies that x is equal to 4 as well now let's check let's check according to the equation we are told that 3 to the power of x minus 2 to the power of x minus 65 is equal to 0 right so 3 to the power of 4 minus 2 to the power of 4 minus 65 is equal to 0 hmm? okay now 2 to the 3 to the power of 4 is 81 2 to the power of 4 is 16 minus 65 is equal to 0 now is this true yes it's 1 minus 16 we give you 65 and 65 minus 65 so we have 65 minus 65 is equal to 0 0 is equal to 0 so this means that our solution is right thank you so much for watching have a lovely day bye